Today's career and technical schools are definitely not your father's tech school. Our career and technical students are prepared to go directly into the workforce, post-secondary education, or both. The role of career and technical schools in education is often misunderstood by some. However, today's employers know full well the increasing need for graduates from our schools. Graduates who have developed astonishing skills, worked with leading-edge technology, and have taken advantage of once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. In fact, some students have already entered the workforce while still in high school. At my company, we make medical devices, more specifically spine parts, so screws and plates and things like that. I'm currently learning about industrial controls and power logic controls. I'm getting hands-on experience right now. I was selected with a few of my students to work on a NASA project with NASA. It's called um, the NASA Hunch, where we're designing a project for um, the spaceships. Our career and technical schools give students the opportunity to explore different career paths and learn what they're passionate about. I came here thinking I was going to do cosmetology school, and then I walked in and I like guess I got kind of lost and I saw like sparks out of the corner of my eye. So I like went in there and it ended up being the welding room and I thought it was so cool. I had never been like exposed to anything like that before. I really kind of saw the opportunity there. I saw how different this could be for me and how, how much there was for me to achieve there. And I toured all the other programs, construction, and then I went into automotive, and then, I don't know, it was like a spark, something switched, and I was like, I like this, so that's what I chose, and I love it. So many different programs you can do, from welding, uh, health, like, um, cosmetology, like, there's just so many options you can pick, and I'm pretty sure that you can find the right one, especially if you're just passionate about it. So then, when I found out there was, like, a, a veterinarian program here, I was like, oh, that's perfect. Beyond the skills needed for the job, instructors instill our career and technical school students with a work ethic employers want. That includes tenets of teamwork, communication, leadership, and learning from their mistakes. I like to call it failing with pride. Like, you're not upset about it, you're not devastated about it, you just, you know that you need to look into what the error was, what the problem was, and work on it, move on, ask for help. I'd say two main points that students really focus on developing and you see in them is time management and work ethic. And then focus on things like personal interaction, how do you handle um, conflict in the classroom because that can echo conflict in, in the workplace. While our career and technical school students are prepared to go directly into the workforce, many choose to seek post-secondary education. For those who choose a curriculum that offers dual enrollment opportunities with post-secondary institutions, students can earn credits, giving them advanced standing. My plan right now is to go to college for electrical engineering and then go join the workforce. I feel like going here gives you a better like jump start to your like degree or if you want to go right into the field, it can do that. But you can also go to college, but you're getting a boost compared to like going against someone that just went to regular school and just got the book learning. So I think that this program really is helping me, um, helping me be able to succeed in everything. When I get to college, I'll know more than other students. Um, I'll be able to help. I'll be able to maybe even teach um, if I want to. In Bucks County, 28% of industry workers have reached retirement age, with another 22% due for retirement over the next 10 years. Compare that to a lower than average population of millennials countrywide. And it's clear why our career and technical schools consider it their mission to provide a path for more students in the next generation to find a successful career in the trades. In Montgomery County, sectors like healthcare and social assistance, scientific and technical services, and manufacturing are booming, and employers in these sectors are benefited by the curriculums we offer. We constantly have a demand, and we're actually working um, tirelessly to place students out into our industry because the demand is high and the, the money that they're able to make going into the field as skilled laborers is really good. Our kids, once they leave here, once our, our students leave, they're a hundred percent ready to go in the industry. They are learning on equipment that is being used in our industry right now. Some of the equipment is like brand new technology. It's, it's, there's not even machinists out there that are using it a whole lot yet. So. Our students are getting their hands on this brand new technology. They're getting higher salaries because of it. 
and they're stepping right into the shop and they're they're one of the people that that these companies are relying on there's a large skills gap right now industry is looking for technicians in this area and i'm giving the opportunity to my students to fill some of these roles earn a sustainable wage when they graduate my skills are very transferable i can go across the country and there will always be a demand for me even in the first month you've already gone through like five or six different certifications on like lifts, fluids, electronics, just working with different tools and such. And it's not just classroom training that helps our students thrive in the workforce. The co-op program for our school is a great opportunity for students to spend time at their, uh, at their work site while still receiving credit in the classroom. So we have uh, two students out on, on co-op right now. We have about four or five other students that are getting ready to go out. Among our students, there is a common thread, finding satisfaction in their chosen career path. So it's wonderful to see kind of the end goal with the parts that I make to go into patients and they're able to spend more time with their loved ones. When I went into fine woodworking, I saw that there was a way to apply like my art skills into the blueprint design and then into a way that I could actually create something with the products that I had. It pushes you to be better, just as with anything. It could be design, it could be welding, it could be construction. Having someone that's just as motivated as you, maybe they even might be better than you, you learn from them, then you like it you end up pushing each other that way when y'all both are wanting the same things. I just want to keep the animal healthy as possible and you know as long as it's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> the career and technical schools of Bucks and Montgomery counties, they're not your father's technical school. Thank you to the students and instructors of Bucks County Technical High School and Eastern Center for Arts and Technology who helped us paint an accurate picture of our modern career in technical schools. There is a total of seven CTE schools serving the students and the communities of our region. Visit our website to find one near you.